keeping the faith I'm running the race My past holds me back Oh Lord I need your touch Brothers and sisters Today we are very happy and grateful to celebrate the Immaculate Conception of Virgin Mary. It's a gift for us, it's a blessing for our humanity that one of us is chosen to give us the Lord. He's chosen to be a chance or to give us that possibility of salvation. Virgin Mary, brothers and sisters. The Immaculate Conception first it means that Virgin Mary is the one who has been chosen was preserved from the original sin, was preserved from the iniquity that broke the relation between God and the humanity. She was preserved from that sin. And you understand with me that when God wants to do his things, he will do it in the right and proper way. And the right and proper way is his holiness. Virgin Mary has that favor of God of being preserved and preserved from the original sin. Our Lord will come to us in the holy way. The Lord will come to us by using a way which is proper to Him and proper to God. This holiness. The celebrating the feast of Immaculate Conception it is a meditation and a reflection for us in this sense that God has a project on everybody. God has a project on everybody. You also, God has a project on you. But how can we work? How can we cooperate so that this project of God may be a reality? Virgin Mary has shown us the way. We see in the gospel how she said here i am humble servant of the lord brothers and sisters she's teaching us how to be obedient how to live that total humility before god how to submit ourselves to god how are we living our daily life do we live it in fear of god do we live it in the respect of his commandments the first reading is putting before us the picture of the disobedience of human being, disobedience of the humanity. Brothers and sisters, God is offering us another possibility to redeem us, to save us from our sin. And it is today we are called to take it and each of us to say, Lord, here I am, your humble servant, to do your will. It's by doing the will of God, we will gain the real and the true life. I will pray with you, we will pray for one another, that this feast we are celebrating today may profit for us, may bring us a lot of blessing, a lot of graces, because Virgin Mary is interceding for us. May you have a blessed and a nice time. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Stay blessed. Oh Lord, I need your touch. I call upon your name.